Am I audible properly? Yes, you can start. Okay, is my screen audible, uh, visible? Can you see yes, my screen? Sir. Yes, okay. it is. Okay, thank you. So uh, let's start with a small story. So once Albert Einstein, the great physicist, was traveling on a train. So when a conductor came to Einstein, he started looking his West pocket for the tickets, but he could not find the ticket in his vest pocket. Then he started looking his trouser, trouser pockets, but he could not find the tickets there as well. Then he started looking his in his in his briefcase, but he did not find the ticket there as well. Then he looked for the tickets on the seat beside him, but the ticket was not there as well. So. The conductor told, don't worry, no need to worry. Dr. Einstein, I know who you are. We all know who you are. You must have bought the ticket. Please sit. So Dr. Einstein nodded appreciatively. The conductor continued to check others' ticket. As he was ready to move to the next coach, he turned around and saw that Dr. Einstein is on his hands and knees and looking for his tickets under his seat. The conductor rushed quickly and said, Dr. Einstein, Dr. Einstein, don't worry. I know who you are. No problem. I don't need a ticket. I am sure you bought a ticket. Then Einstein looked at him and said, man, I too know who I am. What I don't know is that where I am going. So that was a small story of Dr. Einstein. So good evening, Toastmaster and distant guest. Guest, welcome all to 160th meeting of Toastmaster Club, Club of Lucknow. My name is Avnish. I am Sergeant at Arms of today's meeting. And it is my pleasure to officially call the 160th meeting of Toastmaster Club of Lucknow. Now, the role of Sergeant at Arms. The main duties of Sergeant at Arms during a club meeting are to arrive early to help set up the meeting, to start the meeting on time and make sure that the meeting schedule is other too, give a walkthrough of club's mission, general direction, and the guidelines. Let's move, move on the club mission. Our club mission is to provide a conductive, supportive, and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. Now, general direction for online session. Ensure that you are logged in with your correct name. It will help us to identify you easily. All speakers, role takers are requested to add the name to their um, uh, name of their role next to their name. Example, S-A underscore Abnish Dubey. All the guests are requested to prefix guest before their name. It can be done by click clicking the participants tab to rename yourself. Example, guest underscore Abnish Dubey. Know when your camera is on and avoid doing any activity that may distract the speaker. Please mute your microphone except when it's your turn to speak to avoid background noises from interrupting the meeting. Please unmute your microphone and start your video when the Toastmaster of the day or the table, table topic master asks you to do so. Let the host and co-host handle all the controls. The SA guidelines, refrain from speaking about religion, sex, and politics in a derogatory manner. Avoid interjecting the speaker when he or she is delivering a speech, evaluation, or report. Avoid conversations in chat publicly when someone is asking 
as it may distract the speaker. Please raise your hand to volunteer during table topics session to speak. Look out for the green, yellow, and red colored cards on the screen. They will be displayed by the timer at the appropriate times. At the end of every segment, please cast your ballot when the host displays the post on the polls on the screen. Now I had the honor of asking someone on the stage who is presiding of presiding officer of Toastmaster Club of Lucknow. He earned his Bachelor of Commerce degree from National PG College in Lucknow. He has a passion for playing volleyball, exploring different cuisines, and watching movies. At present, he is pursuing his MBA at Gurugram and is very active in all the cultural and sport events. So please get your hands together to welcome our presiding officer of today's meeting, Toastmaster Shubham. Toastmaster Shubham, the stage is all yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Avish, for such a nice introduction. And first of all, am I audible? Please, put it on the Am I audible? Thank you. And I welcome you all to the 168th meeting of TMCA. Thanks. I'm very much happy to see the guests here. So, okay. Introduction of guests. First, I'd like to call guest question from Not Osmar Sagla. Hi, am I audible? Yeah, yes, yes. Hello, uh, good afternoon. Afternoon to all. Uh, actually, I am a member of Lucknow Toastmasters Club, and uh, by profession, I am a certified financial planner uh, working with Fistum Wealth Management Company based out of Delhi. And uh, more than that, I am a learner. I am a, also uh, a student of uh, Bhatkhande University. I am. I have a keen interest in classical vocal music and uh, I am on a journey to improve myself in public speaking which would help me in growing in my career uh, professionally and personally. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. What was uh, about Over to you? you? Like you have very much in the plate. And like okay, next time we are visiting Lucknow, like, no, please come to the TMC meeting and we'll meet and we can show sure. your talent there. Sure, sure. Next we have Ambika Morya. Ambika, can you please turn on your camera and can you please give a short introduction to us? And Hi, guest Ambika. Uh, I think uh, our presiding officer has really bad internet connection. So uh, I'd like to welcome you. Uh, and uh, please tell us something about yourself and how you get to know about our club and uh, what you expect from the Toastmasters. You are on mute. We can't hear you. Please unmute yourself first. Okay, we are trying. Uh, tech master, please uh, try to unmute Ambika. He's saying that he's not able to do it himself. I have given a prompt to unmute. I request please click on the unmute option. Yes, Ambika, please uh, click once more on the unmute option. Maybe. Uh, You may try rejoining the meeting. Uh, 
once you leave and rejoin yeah till then i'm not seeing here any other guest and uh, we'll wait for a minute for ambika to join and uh, so today we are as we all know that we are going to talk about something related to karma and i feel that uh, i i also got to know from sunil ji and from my own experience that karma tells us that our actions which whichever whether they are good or bad will come will come back to us one day and uh, we have ambika once again in the meeting hello ambika are you able to speak yeah 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 i think uh, yeah so i am really sorry i was uh, due to a new issue okay so my name is ambika maurya i belong to up currently i live in lucknow and uh, i am working at uh, safe max delib this is a food delivery company which is based out at lucknow so i am managing the businesses and uh, here so at toastmaster in 2016 17 when i was in gurgaon that time i was member of toastmaster club at the gurgaon i delivered two speeches then after that i got relocated to other city then i did not i could not continue again uh, i am wishing to join toastmaster to improve my leadership skill so this is what my expectation is Achyuta, you are on mute. Mute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, uh, thank you so much, guest Ambika, for joining this meeting, and we look forward to hear from you at the end of the meeting as well. So, please stay throughout the meeting. And uh, so, I was talking about law of karma. As uh, let's move forward, and in the context of Toastmasters, the law of karma again is incredibly relevant. Here, we learn that uh, we learn an effort we put in our speeches. the roles we take on and the feedback we provide all come to us in the form of growth and improvement and here every speech is a chance to practice to learn and to refine your skill the more you put yourself out there the more confident and articulate you become so the loop of feedback and toast master is another a perfect example of no karma okay and you'll find more you give the more you receive in terms of camaraderie support and personal development here so now it is my pleasure to hand over the stage to our toast master of the day toast master sunil gupta who will guide us through this meeting with his usual grace and enthusiasm so i request toast master sunil gupta to please come on a stage and uh, over to you toast master sunil thank you presiding officer please give him give her a huge round of applause good evening fellow toast masters and distinguished guests can anyone tell me which country won the icc men's t20 world cup i actually i have forgot can anyone no one knows am i audible yes you are so which country won the t20 world cup just this year india t20. india yes, india. Uh, india so why did you take a time okay so india now can anyone tell me or you, you all tell me why did india win the cup because of their, their hard work and persistence towards the trophy to win yes so they they uh, they showed a hard work and they played well this is the law of karma when you work hard you get good results the law of, law of karma says this according to deepak chopra the author of the book the seven spiritual laws of success it says 
karma is both action and the consequence of that action we usually think that karma is karma there is no relation with results but the law of karma says that action and reaction both are important whatever you do will have results so be careful about your every action and thought now can anyone remember the newton's third law of motion anyone knows action reaction theory yeah we say okay yes yeah it's action reaction theory that yes 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 every action is having equal and opposite reaction reaction so newton third law of motion is to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction for example when you sit in your chair your body exerts a downward force on the chair and the chair exerts an upward force on your body the law of karma is very much like the action and reaction or cause and effect it says that every cause will lead to an effect now i want a uh, a volunteer to ask uh, one or two three uh, one or two questions to uh, show to prove what is law of karma anyone is ready archita you are ready just one or two questions uh, okay animate yourself okay uh, by the way archit archita today you are really looking gorgeous and energetic thank you sunil ji yes why did you thank me because you complimented me complimented me yes this is the law of karma when good action always results in good reaction bad action results in bad reaction if i have abused you 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 uh, you have thanked me no now archita uh, yes. at your home do you cook or uh, your mother or anyone yeah i do cook sometimes you cook okay today you are going to cook your, your dinner or anybody is going to uh, cook it's not sure yet okay anybody okay. like we do it uh, half okay. half yeah so can you tell me what you are going to have for your dinner or usually what you have generally we have some uh, vegetable curry or and chapati okay vegetable curry and chapati can you make uh, vegetable and chapati with bread toast butter no no this is what you what you are going to do give a results so your results your outputs are always associated with your activities and actions Yes. So to achieve your goal, you have to perform or act accordingly. You can't make uh, vegetable curry with uh, having bread or butter. You have to uh, act accordingly, and you have to use tools accordingly. You can't get away from your actions. That uh, I will act this, and I then I will get that. No. what you act accordingly you will get results so now for the benefit benefit of guests i would like to explain the structure of today's meeting like others other regular meetings we have three sections prepared speech section table topic sections and evaluation section so now i would like to call upon the general evaluator of the day 
a very energetic family toastmaster toastmaster anurag gupta to brief her role and responsibility toastmaster anurag gupta is 70% water like anyone else i, I will ask what in what it does it mean <laughs> he is a computer science graduate and startup enthusiast he is past president of ltmc lucknow toastmaster club to make him happy give him food yeah good and he loves traveling and has worked in ad tech space please welcome our general narrator of the day anurag gupta anurag gupta the stage is all, all yours thank you toastmaster sunil that was indeed a quite motivating introduction for me so whatever you will do in the toastmasters meeting there's a person who decides that whether it was a good karma or bad and gives you a feedback that okay this can be improved in the next meeting and for that i have a team with me as well so in the for the last section general evaluation segment there are three four role players along with me who will be evaluating the karma or the work people who will be presenting throughout the meeting starting off with timer of the day our timer of the day loves dancing singing painting drawing cooking reading movies and especially horror movies uh reading and movie watching movies especially horror movies anyone get, can guess can anyone guess who is she toastmaster archita please welcome toastmaster archita for the role of timer uh toastmaster which master dev has taken over the role of timer so i request toastmaster dev please uh, come on stage and explain your role okay thank you general evaluator and toastmaster archita i do like i don't like horror movies so i will start by explaining my role as a timer for today i will be keeping track of everyone's speech timings and for the speaker the time allotted is 5 to 7 minutes I will show the green card at five minutes, as you can see on my screen. I will show the yellow card at six minutes, the red card at seven minutes. There is thirty seconds of buffer time for the upper side. And for the table topics, the time allotted is one to two minutes. I will show the green card at one minute, the yellow card at one minute, thirty seconds, and the red card at two minutes. There is also thirty seconds of buffer time on the upper side. For the evaluators, the time allotted is. Two to three minutes. I will show the green card at two minutes, the yellow card at two minutes, thirty seconds, and the red card at three minutes. There is buffer sec thirty seconds on the both the sides. I will share my report at the end of the session when called upon by the general evaluator. I now hand over the stage back to our wonderful general evaluator for today, Dr. Masanura. Thank you, Dr. Masanura Dev. Now let's move towards our counter for the day. Today's our counter loves. to play table tennis chess he watches web series and he loves to read books he is none other than toastmaster avnish thank you so much general evaluator very good evening fellow toastmasters and guests the purpose of our counter is to note any overused words or or filler words filler sounds such as used as a crush by any one who speaks during the meeting the words may be an inappropriate interjection such as and well but so and you know filler sounds may be a uh, um and er uh. remember eliminating these filler words and sounds can have significant impact on the effectiveness of your speeches and how you can do do it by using a small pause a better habit than overuse of filler word is to allow yourself to pause doing so will allow you to think about what you will say next without filling the space with words that don't serve your communication just give me a second i will share a report how it looks like so it will give you more yeah. waiting over the understanding can you see my screen yeah yes so these are the filler words like you know and so well but uh, um are are the uh, sounds then i will also note down all the repetitions 
short pauses, long pauses, and any other things that can be worded. I will quickly show you the previous reports. So it looks like this. All the speakers' names are here and number of times they have used these filler words or sounds will be noted like this. Thank you. Uh, at the end of the meeting, I will share my report when called by the general evaluator. Back to general evaluator. Thank you, Dostmaster Avnish. Our next role player is the person who has done his electrical engineering. And once you are an engineer, you tend to love maths and physics. And you also love technical literature. And sometimes when you earn the money, you want to invest in the stock market as well. For that, we have the grammarian. And that person is Toastmaster Dilip Padma. Please welcome Toastmaster Dilip. Thank you, General Evaluator. Good evening, all fellow Toastmasters and guests. Today, my role is grammarian. I'll be paying close attention to all the speakers what they are speaking and their improper language usage. I will be also noting down the outstanding words by users by the all the speakers. It is also my responsibility to introduce word of the day and the phrase of the day to all the speakers. I encourage all the speakers to use word of the day and phrase of the day whenever opportunity comes. I will present my Grammarians report when called during the meeting and at the end of the meeting I'll present word uses and my Grammarian report as well. So for the today's meeting word of the day is transcend. Its meaning is to go further, rise above or be more important or better than something, especially a limit. Example will be the best films are those which transcend national or cultural barriers. Another example of the same thing will be the underlying message of the film is that love transcends everything else. The phrase of the day is as you sow, so shall you reap. The example will be that he spent years trying to avoid paying taxes and now he is facing nearly 10 years in prison for it. As you sow, so shall you be. Thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Dostmaster Dreep. It would be quite helpful if you can type those uh, word and phrase of the day in the chat box for everyone. That would be great. Now let us move towards listener for the day. And the listener for the day would be Toastmaster Akshat. He's tech enthusiast. He works on cutting at tech projects and he loves innovation. Please welcome Toastmaster Akshat. Thank you, General Evaluator Toastmaster Anurag. As a, as a listener, my role is to encourage all of you to stay true to the purpose of Toastmasters by staying very, very attentive to what's going on during the session. So as a listener, I would be closely monitoring what all is being said in the speeches and in the conversations. Towards the end of the session, I would ask you questions that would test you and challenge you to recollect what was discussed during the session. So that's about my role. Over to you. Toastmaster Anurag. Thank you, Dr. Toastmaster Rakshit. Along with this team, I will also present my report at the end of the meeting. Back to Toastmaster of the day. So, are you ready? So, let's start the prepared section, speech section. Today, the first speaker is Toastmaster Nikhil Yadav. And he will be Evaluated by a very kind, talented 
soft spoken toastmaster i think all you know that how much he is kind and soft spoken toastmaster asankhya mohan toastmaster asankhya mohan is working with emeritus on the corporate front and presently serving at the district chief judge in district 124 toastmasters international he has taken up various club and district leadership roles and become a president's distinguished division director catering to the geography of uttar pradesh in the inaugural year of district 20, 124 so please help me welcome toastmaster asankhya mohan asankhya mohan the stage is all yours thank you so much uh, good afternoon fellow toastmasters thank you so much toastmaster sunil and toastmaster of the day for setting uh, the uh, the tone of the meetings on such a high note and again a special good afternoon to my fellow my target speaker toastmaster nikhil uh, toastmaster nikhil is again an investment banker on the verge of transcending to becoming a venture capitalist and he is today delivering a speech uh that is the second speech of pathways that is writing a speech with purpose uh, the time time up please note the timing for the speech is 5 to 7 minutes and the purpose of this project is for the member to learn or review basic methods for writing a speech with a defined purpose and to present a well organized speech on any topic and i wish toastmaster nikhil all the best toastmaster sunil over to you to uh, introduce the speaker or shall i do that you have to do i right, okay i'll i'll do that thank you so much toastmaster sunil uh, toastmaster nikhil i can i see you on the screen yeah, yeah i okay all right i can see you now thank you so much toastmaster toastmaster nikhil yadav the lost art of empathy the lost art of empathy toastmaster nikhil yadav the stage is all yours friends today i want to take you back to the time when our biggest concern was not the stock market deadlines or those 1500 emails in inbox our biggest concern was whether the ice cream seller would pass by our street before bedtime or not there was something else that held our attention something tiny very insignificant and i'm sure all could recollect a memory from your childhood when you would watch an ant carrying carry a small piece of sugar across the floor there was while you i mean when you would as a child you would see that ant you would pause whatever you were doing captivated by its determined journey and wanted to become a companion in its quest it was a, ins a small insignificant creature in a grand scheme of things but it held all your attention we couldn't help but feel a wave of sympathy for that tiny ant imagining the effort it must be exerting uh, exerting to carry the load multiple times its own weight back then it seemed perfectly natural to help i remember thinking what if she could just tell me where she is heading so i could help her carry and i'm sure most of you thought the same this simple thought encapsulated the boundless empathy that children possess we wanted to help not because we were asked to but because we instinctively felt the pain and struggle of other living beings no matter how small as we grow older and now before i move ahead i would like to know how many of you still notice those ants none right now even if we do notice those ants the first question that crosses our mind is i hope that sugar is not coming from my kitchen isn't it good morning fellow toastmasters and dear guests as we grow old something changes life becomes more complex and up once boundless empathy seems to narrow we become so engrossed in our responsibilities our own struggles that we no longer see the tiny ants of the world or even if we do we dismiss them thinking it's just an ant 
Why does this happen? Why do we lose that innate desire to help, to connect with others on such a fundamental level? Have you, I'll give you another situation. Have you ever been rushing to work and you spotted an elderly man struggling with his bags? You had that urge in your heart that you want to help. For a brief moment, you stopped, but doubt creeps in. And you hesitate before, and even before you know, you have already walked past that man. For the rest of the day, this decision haunts you, reminding you that you could have made a difference, but you didn't. I'll give you another situation. Now. Maybe you are at work, overwhelmed with your deadlines, lost in your own world of stress. A colleague walks by, looking defeated, dejected, their eyes shadowed with exhaustion. You notice them. Of course you do. You all do. But you are too busy, too preoccupied to ask them if they need any help. To ask them, are you okay? So you stay silent. And they walk back, carrying the weight of their burdens alone. Now imagine another situation at your home. Think about the last time you came home after a long day. You were tired, irritable, exhausted, and just wanted to be left alone. But your child, maybe your partner, or even maybe your pet needed your attention. They wanted to share something that mattered deeply to them. But instead of listening, like really listening, you brush them off. Not out of malice, but because you were drained and your empathy reserves had already depleted. Friends, it's, it is as we have developed walls around our hearts, letting empathy trickle in only when it's convenient for us. We have lost that childlike ability to see through the struggles, to see every tear as a call to action as something that requires us to stop and care. But what if we could find a way back? Think about the last time someone helped you unexpectedly. Maybe it was a stranger who offered you a seat when you were tired or when you or a friend called you just when you needed to hear their voice. How did it make you feel? Did it make you feel like a warm light in a cold world? Now imagine being that light for someone else. Imagine rekindling that childlike empathy, not just for the ants of the world, but for every people we encounter every day. A few weeks ago, I had a chance to practice this. While I was rushing through a grocery store, I noticed an, an elderly woman trying to reach a can on the top shelf. For a moment, I almost walked, uh, I almost um, walked away from her, but then I reminded, I remembered that little ant from my childhood. I walked back, smiled, and helped her. It was a small thing, but the look of gratitude in her eyes stayed with me long after I left the store. It reminded me that empathy doesn't have to be grand. It can be found in these small everyday moments when we choose to notice someone else's struggle and decide to help. Because in those actions, we rediscover our humanity. We reconnect with that child who saw an ant carrying sugar and wanted to help. Not because they had to, but they could. So the next time you see an ant carrying a piece of sugar, or the next time you see that elderly man is struggling, struggling with his bags, or that colleague who is overly exhausted, don't ignore it. Pause for a moment, embrace it. Remember, remember the child you once were, the one who instinct, indistinctively wanted to help, and let that memory guide you. Reach out to them, lend a hand, listen with your heart, and bring back the empathy into your life one small act at a time. Because when we do, we don't just help others, we re rediscover a part of ourselves that the world needs now more than ever. Thank you so much. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Nikhil. <clears throat> Very fantastic speech. Really, we have become so professional. Actually, we are brought up uh, like uh, uh, 
uh, you uh, study this after studying this you will get this uh, this um, this much uh, uh, what we say package if you you do btech you will get 26 lakh package so in this rush we have forgot human values we don't uh, teach our children human values relationships from uh, their birth we we force them to study to work hard to earn money that's all and uh, you are right that we should think about it that we should help others not strangers but you you should help your relatives your friends or, or, or the people you are acquainted with then I guarantee that you will get help in return all people are not uh, selfish if you help 10 people definitely uh, out of 10 at least two or three will help you in your need let's move on our theme can anybody of you tell me their qualification or position or status in their organization anyone just volunteer yes anyone just we are we are learning karma only uh, Toastmaster Sunil uh, can you please repeat like what you have asked are you housewife or you work in uh, work in somewhere yes i am working somewhere so where you work uh, and what position uh, you work in, in that your organization i work with system wealth management uh, based out of delhi okay and uh, my uh, like uh, designation is of avp please repeat AVP. my designation is avp AV avp yes that is Associate assistant, Vice President. Assistant Vice President. Uh, as, assistant Vice President. Yes. So, what do you think that why you are at uh, in that position? Uh, see, we as a human being have taken birth to become a. We are in a transcending phase, right? We always want to become a better version of ourselves day by day. And uh, basically, we want to be, uh, be like, uh, like we want to be kind of independent. Okay. okay. So, uh, in order to uh, like, uh, not competition, I can say, but yes, uh, we are working so that we can be of help to ourselves first and be of help to uh, the people we are, we are surrounded with okay it, uh, com like competing with the basic necessities okay i ask one thing why you are not a prime minister or a, a, an ias because i have not ever thought of being a prime of. minister yes 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 so your choices you didn't take that choice that I wanted to be a Prime Minister or IAS. So, I want to say or the law of uh, karma says that you are responsible for what or where you are in your life. You took certain choices in past all through your journey in life and the consequence of those choices is that you find yourself in particular situation today right whatever you uh, took choices or choice to do particular course that's why you are uh, in that position i agree yeah. so be careful about your choices that uh, the law of uh, karma says okay as I said that you are responsible for your position or status or whatever you are in present time. 
do not blame on others that my parents didn't do that that's why i mean no you are only responsible for your position your status your conditions your situation now tell me guess just what is the benefit of being responsible for own status or condition there is any benefit that you are responsible for your status it gives us a sense of self satisfaction self satisfaction any other tk grammarian yes you are responsible for your position you are in stock market you are experience so do you think uh, it is beneficial for you that you are responsible for your position nobody else that's what i'm trying to think actually just experimenting that okay this this thing works out or not so many things i have tried okay okay i'm just trying okay i'll tell you the major benefit of being responsible for your own position is that it gives you hope hope like if you are not satisfied with your status or condition all you need to do change your actions or thoughts then you will find yourself in a better place or position tomorrow so all is in your hand now let's move on the next section of the meeting very interesting sometimes you know missing of heartbeat shaking legs yeah table topic section to conduct this section i'll invite toast master table topic master of the day a very young beautiful energetic sincere toast master of the club toast master archita baranwal toast master archita baranwal is a bba graduate served as a secretary and vice president membership and now serving as vp education in toast master club of lucknow she loves dancing singing drawing painting making craft connecting new people spending time with siblings watching horror movies this is totally unusual you are so loving person but you watch horror movies and traveling new places cooking reading book i think nothing left okay please welcome table topic master archita baranwal archita the stage is all yours thank you thank you so much sunil ji for such a wonderful introduction and uh, i welcome all of you to the second segment of uh, the toastmasters meeting which is the table topic session so uh, before moving directly to the table topic session i'd like to uh, explain a little that what happens i in this session i will the table the table topic master will give you a uh, any random topic on which you have to speak for a minimum of 1 to 2 minutes and you'll also get a 30 seconds grace time you just have to uh, share your thoughts your ideas related to that particular topic and uh, i'll re uh, i'd like to reconfirm the timings 1 minute is the qualifying time and 2 minute is the maximum time you will get and 30 seconds will be the buffer time so uh, before directly calling out the guests i'd like any toast master to please come forward to volunteer for the topic you can raise your hand and i'll choose one toast master asank would you like to pick a topic uh sure toast master archita okay so those master asankhya some people create their storms and get mad when it rains some people create their storms storms and get mad when it rains those master asankhya over to you
Uh, thank you so much, Table Topics Master, fellow Toastmasters guests. Some people create their storm. And if you can, uh, Toastmaster Rachida, share the screen once again. Some people create their storm. And get mad when it rains. Thank you so much for that topic. Again, I necessarily uh, do not agree with the topic. Uh, the reason being, the storms or no storms, it's something that is created. Just like Toastmaster Sunil Gupta said, every action has an equal to or equal or opposite reaction. As per the Newton's third law of motion, it's something. Uh, what I feel is, as a human being, we are. Uh, provoked by our actions, by someone else's actions, inactions, it's up to us how we take it. We might instigate that other individual who is in front of us. We might try to keep ourselves calm, let the other individual handle it on their own way. So for an example, in my organization, like in a corporate space, we are uh, like 24-7, we are trying to better ourselves, grow with each passing day, in terms of designation, in terms of pay package, that's our objective in terms of skill set as well. But at the end of the day, it's also making sure self visible is what I felt. We just had an appraisal cycle at my organization. And at the end of the day, how you handle yourself while someone is trying to instigate you is something that goes a long way in making your differentiator stand out. Be it in Toastmasters, be it in professional space, it's up to us how we react to someone who is trying to create a storm in our life and how we react to it is something that would make all the difference in our space as well as in the surrounding that we are in. That's all from my side. Back to you, Table Topic. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Asanshu, for attending this topic and taking to like sharing your experience and sharing us whatever you felt. So uh, that's that happens and I agree with you. And uh, it not just happens in corporate, it happens in real life too. Sometimes it happens that uh, how we react matters most. So now I'd like to call upon the guests first because we already get an idea how to attend table topic. So I request the Toastmaster, sorry, guest Ambika to please come on stage and take a topic. Okay. Okay. So, guest Ambika. Revenge will never solve anything. Karma will. Revenge will never solve anything. Karma will. Toastmaster Ambika, over to you. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I really, I really agree with the topic. The revenge is not going to solve the problem anytime and uh, this is against this what i think this weapon is the great uh sorry uh the patience is the great weapon whenever a time comes uh like a situation then we have to take the decision there carefully and uh we have to have the patience and then, then take the decision on anything so uh, like uh like we are working professional and our nine to ten hours are going in, into the office whenever we are coming to the off uh, to the home and family members are there we also should you know react with a uh, in good way with the family member and revenge this is what uh, i think that whenever we feel like that uh, uh we feel feel like a revenge inside us that creates uh you know jealous some uh, jealous, jealously thing inside us and which is harmful for us. And the karma, this is very important for each and every one. If the, the uh, I'm not able to recall the name of the person, Mr. Sunil, I think said that uh, the pre-thought has been result, is, get, is resulting in our uh, future. So karma is very important. We should not, if we have, you know, we are bearing good, good goal in the life, then we should forget about each and everything and uh, uh, re like revenge and all everything uh, we should have the patience to uh, to to uh, achieve our goal and also karma goes parallel you think good you uh, feel better feel happy so that uh, you achieve your goal uh, in the life so thank you so much thank you so much yes ambika 
for sharing your thoughts what do you think about these things but sometimes it is so hard if something happens with us the mind directly think about taking revenge and reacting in a in an aggressive manner sometimes it happens and it is very hard to control it and whoever can do so are the one who can like they have won already a few battles of their life so uh, with this i'd like to move forward and uh, for the next topic i'd like to call guest khushbu yeah so guest khushbu yes how people treat you is their karma and how you react is yours how people treat you is their karma how you react is yours toastmaster khushbu over to you uh this topic resonates uh, my day to day uh, lifestyle interaction cause in my workspace uh, my job is to interact with lot of people and many times uh, being a part of the organization we approach people and uh, we do get mixed responses many times it is positive and many times it is negative so uh, when it is negative the human tendency is that we are uh, we tend to think negative about it and we reciprocate it negatively so again there is an option uh to us that uh where we can think uh, it as in a positive manner either it in a negative manner so if we uh, treat it in it in a positive manner it will benefit for the other person and for ourselves our, ourselves also but if we uh, take it as in a negative we will ultimately hurt ourselves and it will uh, like we'll be losing a uh, track of our time and we'll be losing a peace of mind also so it is up to us that uh, uh, like how we have to uh, take it in a positive way uh, rather than take it in a negative way so yes this uh, uh, as in helps me a lot over to you thank you so much to master kushbu for uh, sharing what you feel about this topic and uh, yes this happens and uh, it is very important that how we react sometimes we can control and sometimes we are not and this somehow handles our mind a lot and with this we are uh, bound to react in a particular way if we are uh, if some if someone is doing very negative things with us and if we are trying to react in a positive way for a long time so after one time it our mind like it denies to accept and sometimes it happens that we react back in a same way so thank you so much for attending this topic now i'd like to call someone else any volunteers for the next topic okay so toastmaster akshit your topic is karma has no menu you get what's you get served what you deserve karma has no menu you get served what you deserve those marks reaction over to you thank you toastmaster archita and uh, hello fellow toastmasters this is the first time that i am appearing for a table topic and i just hope that i am not sounding gibberish when i speak so the topic says that there is no fixed menu of karmas that you can cherry pick from i would agree to a lot of extent to what is what this means and i personally feel that the more actions that you take the more reactions you would invite in life and therefore if we were to choose from a set of predefined menus life would have been very easy easy for everyone but that's rarely the case and when you are you could probably cherry pick a few items when you are doing 
purchases on an e-commerce website. But when it comes to real life, you are taking actions and that are creating reactions. Now, interestingly, a lot of us feel or a, a lot of us think that we have been destined for a few things. Some people like to interpret life with respect to destiny, but a lot of people feel that you create your own destiny. And when we talk of creating our own destinies, we are talking of karmas. So when I look at people who are senior, who are who, who are senior citizens, I see that they believe a lot in, in doing, doing a lot of good actions, which probably people in our generation or people who are my contemporaries would not agree with, or they might just restrict these karmas to a very specific set of actions that they do in office. But to, to, to look at life in a larger context and to look at different areas of life, it's important that we look at our karmas and because there is not a prefixed menu, we should look at being very, very observant of what we are doing. So that's it from me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Akshay, for sharing your views. And uh, I also think that is not restricted to a particular field in anyone's life, that it is also related to, to the birth and death also. So it's a huge thing. Let's move forward. I can see Toastmaster Anurag's hand raised. So I'd like to give Anurag a topic. So Toastmaster Anurag, karma is a fact or fiction? Karma is a fact or fiction? Toastmaster Anurag, over to you. When we are a child, when we are in college, when we are in school, we don't think of karma too much. We think, okay, we'll live a life and whatever happens, I need to get this done. For example, if you're in eighth standard and uh, you get a chance that, okay, I would get my math paper leaked by my tuition teacher. Probably some people would do that. So I have a story to tell. There was a child uh, in the standard and he got a question paper of mathematics from a friend who was, was doing tuition from the same teacher who was teaching in the school. And somehow he got that paper from that friend who sold that paper to and three to four friends got that paper and they surprisingly got full marks in eighth class. After one or two years, 10th board came and at that time, somehow that government decided that 10th board should be internal. So it was my time at that time, 10th board was internal. And he also, an in internal exams, somehow school decided that I should tell some marks, should questions to the students. So they will get passed. So those students, get passed and with a good grade in the 10th standard. But 11th and 12th, as we all know, are a step higher than 9th or 10th. So when they went there and when they got the real competition, everyone in the class, or I would say 25, 30, at least 50% of the students were clueless because for the last two to three years, they were just relying on most important uh, questions in the class. So. Some of them fail in 11th standard and in the 12th standard, everyone tries to give their best, but the failure rate of the, that class, the, those students was quite high. But none of those students thought that that would happen when they were taking that paper in class 8th standard. So somehow, whatever we do, we get our karma back in a different fashion we don't know in the future. But everything is correlated when we look back. So I hope in the future, when you look back, you will be proud of one thing you have done today that you have got good karma. Thank you so much. Back to Toastmaster of the day. What karma are you working on? Thank you so much, Toastmaster Anurag. Sorry, what you said in the last? I said, what karma or what message you want to give? give? That was the part. But so I loved your personal story, how it affected and how everyone learned. I also want to give a single message that uh, karma 
I think it's a fact and it is not just bounded with one one single action. It is a continuity. Every day we do karma and after a time it comes back to us. And with this I like to move forward and would like to call our tech master. I've seen a, a raised hand from tech master a few minutes ago. I think Or anyone can raise their hand. Yes, Toastmaster Akshit. Sorry, I, uh, I raised my hand by mistake. Okay. Anyone, uh, they can volunteer. Okay. So, uh, Toastmaster Billy. Toastmaster Billy. Karma means you are the maker of your life. Karma means you are the maker of your life, Toastmaster Dilip. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Archita. Karma really means uh, you are the maker of your own life. What happens that uh, I call the action reaction theory. If your choices are the good ones which are good for others also, good for you, you also. So what happens that uh, you will get back a good thing in return. So you should do a good action which is beneficial for others as well as you. Each moment you are taking a choice that this action has to be taken within so many possibilities you have. So you should always select an action which should be good for you as well as which should be helpful for others also. That way, whatever will you return, get in return, it will be good for you. So it it uh, it tells the same thing with whatever the quote was there that uh, it, it is uh, fulfilling that quote. So we should always choose the good karma, because it will write the same thing to us. Yeah. Thank you. And over to you, Arsita. What do you think about this? Thank you so much, Toastmaster Philip. I also, about the topic of I say, yes, it is true that uh, we are the maker of our life and our karma is something which we do on a daily basis and affects. And it is a future in a way so for the last topic i would like to call toastmaster manvi toastmaster manvi am i audible yes you are can you hear me okay. yes yes so uh, toastmaster manvi is karma more about spiritual growth or ethical conduct is karma more about spiritual growth or ethical conduct toastmaster mani over to you we had n number of speakers speaking about karma sharing their stories sharing the stories of people they have seen or sharing their perspective about it but what table topic master asked me today is about choosing one side is it a spirit is it towards the spiritual side or towards the ethical side that i believe in and it is totally my perspective karma can be on either sides of the table that is upon you what exactly you believe there are many people in my life who says karma is nothing but just a misconception that people have and this specific word is used to scare individuals so that they behave properly. But on the other hand, I even know many people who say karma actually works and it is what our life is all about. What we do comes back to us. What we give comes back to us in one way or another. It actually works or it doesn't is totally upon your perspective what you think about 
the spiritual side of it says we all are bound with karmas and that's how our lives and our specific journey is decided but on the other hand the psychology or the human perspective says karma is all about the actions you per, uh, you perform it is all about the deeds you do so i am known to decide whether it is towards the spiritual side or towards the ethical side of it but the only thing that i would say is i personally believe in karma may be there can be an option there can be a circumstances where the karma will not result you in this specific point but can come back to you like a boomerang maybe 10 to 20 years later so don't think what i think what you believe is your perspective and that can be your truth as well i personally believe it is towards the ethical side of the human life table topic master which side do you believe karma actually lands upon over to you thank you toast master manvi and it is really hard to say a particular side i believe sometimes something happens through which we believe it's more on a spiritual side and sometimes it's more on ethical side. so uh, i request to ask the timer if we have time left to attend one more topic or should we end with the session toastmaster dev please we can end with this session okay okay thank you so uh, that's all with my uh, table topics session i like to end the session right with right here and uh, i just wanted to say the phrase of today's meeting which is in itself an overall gist of the whole theme as you so uh, sorry what was the phrase i just get as you so so shall you reap and that's the whole message i wanted to uh, deliver through this whole table topic session and thank you and over to you toastmaster of the day toastmaster sunil yes yes okay thank you i would request a timer please let us know is there any disqualification in the table topic section no toastmaster of the day there is no disqualification according to time okay So now I would request the Zoom master to launch the polls. Okay. I'll be launching the polls in a minute. I will request you to please move forward. Okay, okay. Now, let's see or let's understand how the law of karma applies or works in our professional lives because i think we all are professional is there anyone or has any one of you got promotion so far where where you work anyone khushbu have you ever got promotion Yes. 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 Okay. I think Asanke, you also uh, maybe uh, definitely got promotion. Asanke. Uh, yes. Yes. To Professor oh. Sunil, I just got promotion. I just got. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. So, uh, any of both of you, anyone, both of you. how do you get promotion or what is the procedure of giving promotion in your company kushbu can you tell me uh, every company have a different rule it okay. is not like if you have done yes most of the time if you have done good and as per the expectations of your company whatever the uh work has been allotted to you and you if you have done good and if you have done well then uh, there is a matrix always 
so this is the matrix they promote you okay but uh, it happens in my company and others company that you work under someone and uh, you, you know uh, or you uh, promotion was given by someone is given by someone yes yes most of yes. the times yeah yeah so i think uh, there is an appraisal system have you heard about it yes yeah yeah so uh, asankhya khushboo anyone can you tell me what is performance appraisal system uh if professor khushboo if you want i can share it otherwise i can uh, you can go ahead. you can go ahead so thank smart. you so much professor sunil uh, so as per my understanding uh, like i have been working for almost 5 years now in, uh, in a professional work setup from my perspective every year like we have just started so uh, like my our company's year has just started from july onwards we just concluded june 2024 was the year we when we concluded and this is our quarter one that is going on now we are just setting our goals for the next one year and setting our goals by maybe by next year or in between the year as well our uh, we will be evaluating ourselves as to where we are from the time when we set our goals how we did uh, with respect to the goals that we set and uh, then after that our manager will be reviewing that and sharing his evaluation and feedback as to how did we do from his perspective and on that basis we are given uh, any sort of a career progression or a career growth uh, that's how we get it yes so your own evaluation is just i think in my company it it values only 15% but 85% is given by the seniors reporting officer and reviewing officer okay so your boss will evaluate your performance and help you get promotion so what do you think why this system is there in corporate world what is the useful or beneficial for the company or employee to incentivize perform performance to incentivize people who can take initiatives this is the monetary benefit but what is the benefit for company your organization okay i'll tell you how it connects with the law of karma it is there to force or compel you to learn a fundamental principle that or you can say the law of karma that to rise you have to work without working you cannot raise your status or you cannot rise you have to work you have to think better and do better then you will get promotion now i will hand over the stage to the general evaluator to present their and their team members evaluation reports general evaluator anurag gupta the stage is yours thank you to master sunil now let us judge what our karma was throughout the meeting we are not judging we are just evaluating so let us move towards first evaluation this is the evaluation of the speech which will be done by toastmaster asankhya please welcome toastmaster asankhya for the evaluation of speech thank you so much general evaluator toastmaster anurag and congratulations toastmaster nikhil on completing your level 1 project 2 that is writing a speech with purpose you fulfilled the objective right from the time you started with sharing an like an anecdotal reference of understanding someone else's pain to mentioning how it's important to make sure that we let empathy trickle into our actions you mentioned how we gave a call to action as to how we can find a way back to making sure that even if we are like deviating from not having that sort of an empathy towards our fellow human beings we try and make sure we have that uh, gratitude for people who help us and at the same time pass that cascade that to the other uh, fellow members human beings that we connect with you mentioned as to how it's important 
you even asked a lot of questions. The best part was I felt at least three questions is something I am able to recall you asked. Uh, at the same time, making sure that you involve the audience as well in the speech, making them part of the speech itself. You gave various examples, what I felt interspersed in between the entire speech, mentioning like the last example, I, as I mentioned, wherein you give that sort of a call to action as to when that old woman you uh, uh, you ex unexpectedly helped, she had that her eyes full, filled with gratitude for you. So that is something you gave a vicarious tour as to how you have been, something you made sure you practice uh, giving uh, like empathy to the others and practicing gratitude at the same time as well. What I felt was first and foremost, few recommendations that would take your speech to the next level is first and foremost, you ask questions, but you could have given some time for the audience to receive at the same, like be receptive of it. Even if it's a rhetorical question, just give time for the audience to just uh, grasp that question is something that you can definitely work upon. I felt the examples were, uh, again, there are a few examples. Most of the examples I felt were generic. What I mean by generic is that it did, did make an impact in communicating the message, but some personal anecdotal references will go a long way in touching the chord with the audience. The reason I mentioned that those examples are generic because the members in the audience do not know who that old lady was, but members in the audience do know who you are, who is Nikhil Yadav, who is a VPPR of TMCL, who practices empathy. We all know you. So that would again make us strike a better chord and will help us connect with those examples a lot more. You had uh, again, like what my two cents will be, you can reduce the number of examples. You can deep dive a little more into the examples, make show Maybe some, maybe some examples wherein someone else helped you unexpectedly, wherein you were, your eyes were filled, were filled with a lot of gratitude for that other individual and how you have been practicing gratitude, reciprocating gratitude for the others would be a way to go forward. That would strike a better point with the audience. All in all, a great speech right from the get go. You involve the audience, you ask questions, you make them part of the speech, a great structure, a lot of anecdotal references to take back. Just few work, uh, like just working upon these things with making it more personalized will give a lot of recall value to your speech. Over to you, Dostmaster Anwar. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dostmaster Asankhya. It was indeed a great speech, Dostmaster Nikhil. It was quite touching to listen to that. I'm giving my feedback. It was quite touching to listen about that topic in a teamwork session of karma. Both were quite correlated. That kudos to you on that. And your personal examples of childhood, everything was quite amped on the point. So it was quite a good speech, I would say. Everything is uh, whatever, what uh, other, all, all the analysis done by Asankhya was on the point. I would just like to add that uh, once you were uh, talking, that I, I'm just nitpicking that your voice was a little bit breaking in between sometimes. And your eye contact with the camera could have been a little bit better because if I'm seeing the screen and if I'm seeing the camera, there is a little difference of, of audience connection. So that can be a little bit. Otherwise, it was it's quite a great speech. My version for Toastmaster Asank, it was to the spot, everything you were mentioned. And I think uh, your evaluation was on the spot. Now let us move towards our tag team, timer, our counter, grammarian, and, and listener. Starting off with Toastmaster Dave. Please welcome Toastmaster Dave for the timing timers report. Thank you, General Evaluator. I will be sharing my screen to show my report. Are you all able to see my screen? Can somebody confirm? Yeah, I'm able to see. Yes. Thank you. So here's the time report for today. We started our meeting at uh, 4, 7, and all the sessions timing are noted down. Uh, for the speaker, Toastmaster Nikhil took 7 minutes 20 seconds, and for the speech evaluator, Toastmaster Asanke took 3 minutes 18 seconds. There are no disqualification in the table topic session. I will be pasting my report in the chat box as well, so you all can take notes. That's all for my timer support. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Dev. Now let us move towards Avin Toastmaster Avnish, who will be explaining our counter report. Thank you, General Evaluator. 
So I'm presenting my account, account of report. Let me know once you can see the screen. Okay. It's visible. Can you uh, make it full screen if possible? Or zoom it? Perfect. Yeah, let me zoom. Is yeah. it okay? Now it was. Zoom it a little more if possible. Yeah, it's better now. Yep. Okay. So today's prepared spe uh, speech was of Nikhil Liyadav, Postmaster Nikhil Liyadav. He has just taken one short pause. So kudos to you, Nikhil Liyadav. You haven't used any filler words uh, in your speech today or filler sounds. <clears throat> then table topic speakers, Postmaster Ashank. You haven't used any filler words or sounds. Kudos to you. Guest Ambika, uh, he has used five R. Uh, and one repetition of two, like two, two. So he can avoid this by using pause, a small pause. Guest Khushbu, you have used five R in your speech. So you can work on this. You can just use a small pause or to avoid using this you know, song. Then Toastmaster Akshat, you have not used any filler word or sounds. Kudos to you. Toastmaster Anurag, no filler words or sounds could us to you. Toastmaster Dilip, you have also not used any filler words or sounds could us to you as well. Toastmaster Manvi, no filler words or sounds could us to you. Then in the two-way discussion with uh, our Toastmaster of the day, Sunil, Toastmaster Sunil, just Khushbu, you have used three R, so you can work on this. Uh, then Toastmaster Ashank, you have used one R, so you can work on this. Now in the evaluation, evaluation part, <clears throat> I may have definitely used some R, so I haven't noted on it. Sorry for that. In Toastmaster of the day, Sunil Gupta, you have used you, you, you like this twice, or you know like twice, so if you can work on this. We have used uh, multiple times, like two times or more than that. Then there were multiple repetitions. I missed few repetitions, but like or or uh, working, working. So there were repetitions of the same word multiple times. So uh, you can work on this. Maybe by using a pause or, or just uh, giving thought or no, maybe better preparation before the speech. Then the, you have also used short pause, but overall it was really good uh, speech. Then general evaluator and Gupta, you have used and twice. So and is normal to use, but you have used and to connect or to start a new sentence like and like this. So you can work on this part. Then a speech evaluator to master Shank, you haven't used any filler word or sound for those for you here. Table topic master Archita, Toastmaster Archita, you have used like once. Sorry, it should be in this one. And then you have used a uh, four times. So you can work on this maybe by using a small pause. Uh, then timer have not used any filler words or sound. I have used filler words. I, I just, I can remember. Uh, then Grammarian, uh, his report is it okay. So yeah, that's all about my report. Thank you. Back to you, General. Thank you, Toastmaster Avnish. Only thing I would like to add that common common way to reduce as arms is to take a pause. Take a pause once you need. And once you take a pause, you will get to the second topic. And it will sound better. It will sound more professional. That's a common theme across all the R counters, which are R, R errors, which you have. Now let us move towards Grammarian for the day. And as you saw, as you, as you saw, you will, shall you, shall you, uh, shall you read? I'm so sorry for that. 
please welcome toastmaster dilip thank you anuraj toastmaster anuraj for uh, giving me opportunity to share my report let me share my screen the word of the day is i hope you are able to see my screen yeah okay <clears throat> word of the day you just was done by toastmaster asank in toastmaster kushbu praise of the day by toastmaster archita in toastmaster anurag some new words the like kishti gate its meaning is to make something start to happen gibberish words that have no meaning or that are impossible to understand vicarious felt or experienced by watching or reading about something else doing something rather than by doing it yourself anecdotal based on anecdotes and possibly not true or accurate nitpicking the finding or pointing out of minor faults in fussy or pedantic way quotes striking a chord for someone to feel sympathy emotion or enthusiasm <clears throat> some uh some improper uses like uh, archita are you ready so are you ready like it was like a, instead of a question it was a, a sentence normal sentence so here you can use like are you ready archita do you cook or your mother or anyone versus like who cooks in your uh, home something like that question can be asked to brief her role versus brief his role i think uh, the speaker wanted to refer to a person whose gender was male so his would would have been better so please help me welcome instead of that maybe a better way will be everyone please welcome tm asankhya when would i the childhood maybe this could have been better refreshed do you wanted to help or do you want to help this could have been refreshed like that good morning to good evening one speaker told that good morning so i think the time difference right now it is evening so good evening should have been used in fact empathy reserves had already depleted so it should have been in the uh, depleted it should have been used why you are at that position so why are you at that position <clears throat> connecting with new connecting new people versus connecting with new people how we have to take in positive versus how do we have that should have been a better way we are talking of karma versus talking about karma so of should be been replaced by about 80% rating is given by seniors versus it should have been used as a peers i think the reference was peers in a corporate world what is useful for the company versus what is the benefit for the company Maybe that should that would have been a more appropriate so with that i am done with my report presentation over to you general evaluator toastmaster anurag thank you toastmaster dilip that was indeed quite a detailed report now let us thank move you. towards from speaking to our listening skills and for that let us please welcome toastmaster akshat thank you general evaluator toastmaster anurag i would start off by asking all of you that right at the start of this meeting when nikhil yadav toastmaster nikhil yadav was talking during the prepared speeches section he mentioned about observing closely a living being 
And based on that, he came up with the conclusion that one needs to have small acts of empathy. What living being or what creature was he repping? Yes. Yes, uh, Kushbu. It was ant. Yeah, that's right. And what what color ant it was? Was it a red ant or a black ant? That I don't remember. Yeah, so that was that's actually out of syllabus. That wasn't there in the first place. But uh, thanks for answering. Yeah. Now, just because uh, Kushbu took a lead, I have a few questions around what Kushbu spoke about. So, would anyone like to take a guess at what institute Toastmaster Kushbu is associated with as when she mentioned that she is a true uh, classical arts? Any wild guesses are also welcome. At least we would get to know about institutes of class a lot. Uh, I think you have guessed guess. it right. And right. <laughs> that's it's a, just a that's guess. The right. <laughs> it's a guess and it's the, it's the right answer. All right. Toastmaster Asank Mohan, during his uh, table topic, mentioned about, or I think during the discussion mentioned about the number of years of experience that he has in the corporate, would anyone want to take a guess at what exactly is his number of years of experience? Five. That's Five. right. That's right. Toastmaster Manvi had an interesting topic and she was trying to contrast between two aspects of karmas. What are those two aspects? Spiritual and other uh, ones. Uh, ethical. Ethical, yeah. That's great. Thank you, Avnish and Asant, for uh, such a nice answer. And the last one what's usually cooking in TM Archita's kitchen? Uh, chapati vegetables. and curry. Vegetable chapati curry. And vegetable curry. Yeah. That's that's the right answer, I, and I think someday uh, the toastmaster would also treat us with that with, with some recipes from our kitchen. So that's it from the listener. Over to you, General Evaluate. Thank you, toastmaster Akshit. We have two ears uh, and one mouth. We all know that, so we should listen very properly to what uh, what is being said everywhere. That makes a better human being, better person in general as well. Now let us come toward my report. I will start with tag team, timer, account, grammarian, and tag, uh, taggle. I should we can call that. Starting off with the timer, your report was crisp, short, and crisp, and your introduction was quite good. Toastmaster Dev. Only recommendation is that once you are presenting the report, you can also give some tips at how can we time better in our speeches and our how can we prepare for that. So that that would be better in the future in future evaluations. Now let us move towards uh, our counter for the day. Toastmaster Ravneet, you have explained why we need our counter. That's a quite important part, and you explained it well. You explained how to reduce for everyone. That was good. Only recommendation is that once you are giving your recommendation, if you, there are too many recommendations which are similar, you can give it at the end, and that reduces the time and reduce uh, gives a better impact towards the audience. Grammarian of the day, Toastmaster Dilip, your uh, word of the day, phrase of the day was quite amped and your report was quite detailed as well. Same similar recommendation, how you can also train us that how can we improve our grammar in day-to-day -day life. Toastmaster Rakshat, your listener report was quite good and I don't have any such recommendation for that. Uh, now, let me move towards, I've already covered speaker in evaluation. And now let us move towards table topic. So I will not evaluate all the topics. I will give a general recommendation. Starting off with table topic master. 
uh, your topics were quite apt according to the team or theme and recommendation would be that you can keep the topics little shorter and one more recommendation is table topic is all about thinking on your feet so once you are giving topics that are similar the person who comes at third fourth fifth they have quite a idea that what they have to speak so if possible in future table topics we can have a diverse set of topics so that people are thinking on their feet and that's what table topic is all about so but your topic is related to team there was quite a lot of things which we had to think about when you were beginning the topics so topic was good we can have a little more diversity in that in general for the speakers uh there were toastmaster rasan ke guest uh, toastmaster khushbu toastmaster akshar toastmaster anurag and dilip i had I, i will not give a personal recommendation only general recommendation is that when you are giving a table topic more often than not we fell into the trap in saying too many things and on a different perspective what we can do is that we can combine those and we focus on one topic in general so that the person who is listening to us doesn't get confused and his mind is not wandering into multiple things he is just focusing on what we are what we are telling as a person as a storyteller or a speaker and that completes the whole speech it's a quite a small it's a like a small speech so once you're giving a speech it's better to focus on one topic and go deeper into that if you are want to connect any other topic you can connect with that so that uh, that's a general recommendation some of the speaker have done that some didn't but it was it's a general recommendation for all of us now let us move towards uh team mode of the day what a beautiful topic karma we most often have table topics which are mostly superficial and knowledgeable but the karma the topic is quite important in our day to day life it's it's a foundation for any religion for any society in general because more often than not when we don't think about these topics we think a little bit but we don't think about what uh, what our actions will do in the future you had a great take you had a great confidence you had a great audience interaction and throughout the session you were interacting with every 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 uh, toast masters to get their perspective and give you giving your perspective based on their answer but once you are asking the people once you are asking the people about their opinion their experience there is a small trap and that trap is you don't sometimes you don't get get the answers which you are trying to get and that you have to think about okay if i don't get this answer how will i move forward so once you are having too much on your interaction it has some ne negative consequences that you are stuck somewhere that okay this is what i want to listen and i don't get that listen but you made it you made a new turn around sometimes you got stuck you turn around and explain the topics from your end that's quite an interesting thing to do also you were explaining us about importance of karma it would have been better if you could have explained in much more stories from your end so that we could uh, also relate okay this is the way the uh, this is the bad karma happened because you gave all the positive examples but if all negative examples would be there that would also improve uh, team mode session in general and how you can go further thinking about it in a deeper manner you can also explain about if you have got the time and you've got uh, so that it doesn't become repetitive in the team mode session overall it was a good team mode uh, quite a good team mode session quite a things to remember that whatever you do in life changes our life in the future so it was quite a important reminder for all of us and it was great session from the team mode meeting in general it was a quite fruitful session we started just 5 minutes late but we can improve on that as well we have good karma with us we have a great team with us kudos to everyone who participated in the meeting and once you give good karma in the toastmasters meeting you will get a feedback of a becoming a public better public speaker or a, a becoming a better leader in life so you're already making your karma right here right now and that was quite a remarkable thing one person i am left with is uh, sa and presiding officer sa started with the story that was quite a good part and 
one small recommendation for Toastmaster Dilip in general is that once you are giving anything, once you are reading any report or once you are delivering your speech, you're looking at the screen. There's a difference when, see, when I look at the screen and when I look at the camera, there is a difference in the audience interaction. So it's better once you are speaking, it's if possible, have a distance between your laptop, laptop and where, where you're sitting. So that even if you are looking at the screen, it seems like you are looking at us so that we can have a feeling that, okay, you are with us. You're not looking, you're just not reading and you're looking at to us. So have a space between your laptop and uh, your, where you, wherever you are sitting so that it can have a better visual interaction with, you can have visit with visual interaction with the audience. Uh, last about presiding officer, it, he introduced, sorry. Sorry to interrupt, like, is it for Postmaster Dilip or for me? Uh, I think it was for you, sorry. I took oh. the name of Postmaster Dilip. No, it was actually the camera is like, my camera is down uh, just, yeah towards the keyboard that is why it will always like this only i will see like this to everyone but my camera is there so it looks like like i i may have to buy a camera for that now till buy <laughs> it's com completely good that was just a recommendation overall it was quite a good essay from your end last but not the least presiding officer he introduced guest and somehow he got touch uh, lost the touch with the tech but toastmaster archita handled it quite well and improved her curve in the process. So that's it from my side. Back to Toastmaster of the day. Please take your stage. Toastmaster Sunil. Yeah, I was actually voting. Thank you, General Evaluator, for evaluating speakers, evaluators, and the entire meeting. Thank you very much. Now, it's time to conclude the theme. In conclusion, the law of karma says every action generates a force or energy that returns to us in any kind. As today's phrase of the day, what we sow, so shall we reap. You can apply the law of karma in your life by following two steps, these two steps. First, you must be consciously aware that your future completely depends on the choices you are making in every present moment of your life. When you make any choice, any choice at all, you can ask yourself two things. First, what are the consequences of this choice that I am making? In your heart, you will immediately know that what these are. Your body experiences two kinds of sensation at that time. We feel comfort and discomfort. If your body sends a message of comfort, you can understand that your choice is right. If your, choi your choice sends a message of discomfort, you feel discomfort, it means that it's your choice is not correct, not right. But what happens usually, we ignore it. We use our mind. We don't listen our heart. Secondly, will this choice that I am making bring happiness to me and those who are affected by this choice. We have to think that our choice is not going to harm anyone. 
when we choose choices or actions that bring happiness and success to others as well the fruit of the fruit of karma is happiness and success as long as karma is evolutionary by becoming a conscious choice maker you can start to generate actions that are evolutionary to you and for those that are around you that's all you need to do be careful about your choices and get success in your life with this now i will hand over the stage to the presiding officer thank you thank you so much toastmaster sunil for a wonderful team or session i request everyone to please give him a huge round of applause and at the same time please give your vote thank you thank you so much for uh, voting so uh, before announcing the results of today's vote i'd like to ask a small question from toastmasters sunil you have taken a whole session on the law of karma so it involves little little activities right which effect has a, a return reflection or action what so i have a question that uh, does thinking a bad thing about someone is also add on to a bad karma what do you think yeah very good question you know how we act do you act uh, any time without thinking your th- thoughts your experiences make your actions so if you think bad definitely you are going to act bad it is sure for sure our actions are consist of our thought and experiences so thoughts are we have to make good thought then we will act good definitely thank you sunil ji thank you so much that's the answer i am also expecting but i want to say that sometimes we only think bad but we don't do so we think about killing someone but we don't kill right so but when we think something bad another vibrations reach to that person and in that way it adds on to a bad karma so let's move forward and move forward to the uh, the certificates and uh, let me share my screen and what is this happening just a minute huh? so anyone wants to guess who is going oh. who is the winner of best table top like who is the best table topic speaker any guesses asankhya <laughs> yes toastmaster sunil the right uh, the best table topic speaker we had was toastmaster asankhya and uh, with this any guesses for the best uh, eagle eye role player Toastmaster, you guess your guess was right. You can uh, guess one more time for the eagle eye role player. So it's Toastmaster Dilip Verma, Grammarian for today's meeting, is the best eagle eye role player of the day. Congratulations to Toastmaster Dilip. With this, we had the best prepared speaker today was Toastmaster Nikhil. and the best speaker uh, evaluator was toastmaster asank humohan now lastly any guesses for the best loin heart role player out of toastmaster sunil gupta toastmaster anurag and me the table topic master any guesses anybody wants to do 
all three <laughs> you are close to the results toast master sunil so uh, the best loyal heart role players are toast master sunil gupta and toast master anurag congratulations to both of you and congratulations to all other people who won today and who even participated so uh, with this i'd like to conclude my full session we have toastmaster khushboo from ltnc so uh, toastmaster khushboo any feedback you want to share with us uh yes i must have done some good karma that i was fortunate enough to attend this meeting usually uh, i miss my uh, general sunday's meeting also so much and uh, i got to know more ab about uh, uh, karma and also i learned a lot from each of you uh, in terms of public speaking uh, which would help me a lot thank you over to you toastmaster archita thank you so much toastmaster kushbu for joining us and staying with us this whole two hours and uh, do come in our future meetings as well and uh, with this i'd like to thank uh, toastmaster dev for coming and taking the topic of taking the role of timer at the very end moment so thank you everyone with this i'd like to hand over the stage to our sergeant at arms toastmaster avnish to please officially close the meeting thank you everyone for joining today's meeting the meeting is officially adjourned thank you